Hey guys! All right, day six of my journey to Skinny, and I'll tell you about it in just a bit. folks and I came in this morning at 189.2 one ounce less it is a loss not much of one I mean if you lift a bottle that weighs one ounce of spices it's not much at all but for the digital scales to pick that up it means something so more than likely I lost more than one ounce I lost enough for them to pick it up but you know the way that I had done my hike yesterday for the video for you guys, uh, when all was said and done, even after I was done rolling the, the video, uh, I had walked, a, according to my Fitbit, a total of nine miles and something, over 21,000 steps. And of course, that's including me having to get down out of the house and uh go into the restaurant to get us all something to eat but you know that would eat and that would barely come up to about 200 steps so i really did pour it out yesterday and you know um it's not that i ate a lot but by the time i did eat it was a little later in the day I had four slices of pizza. Now, if I had had four slices earlier in the day, it really wouldn't have counted all that much against me. But because it was later in the day, yes, it did. Which is fine. The thing is, it's still a loss. And so I'm not, I'm not dissing it one bit, you know. Um, that doesn't mean that there won't be a greater number tomorrow doesn't mean that one bit so for any of you who don't know yet what I'm doing for my weight loss basically I'm just eating when hungry and stopping when satisfied and here lately it seems like I've only been hungry about twice a day but also I enjoy sweets on occasion and so I've made it this policy that if I want a sweet I've got to walk to the store and get it so, yesterday I didn't have any sweets other than a small bowl of dry cereal. And that was pretty well it. That was to complete my meal with the pizza. Uh, also, a real fast pickup from the energy that I had used. And I know pizza pretty well takes care of that because it's a fast carb, but I needed the sweetness to take care of the saltiness from the pepperoni anyway I'm one of those I need to have a little bit of sweet to go with my salt I'm one of those sometimes I don't need it at all but yeah uh, so that's basically what I'm doing and like I said here lately I've only been hungry about twice a day and that's fine with me that is perfectly fine with me um, I'm not going to push myself to eat if I'm not hungry it's not worth it that doesn't work well and um, neither does it work well eating too awful late in the evening but um, and that's something entirely different considering how late it was when we got home so it couldn't have been helped but all is good all is great now I know a lot of yens believe that in order to successfully lose weight you need to cut out sugars and and uh, fast carbs like potatoes and stuff like that that the thing is I am a successful weight loss loser and um, I have ate a good variety of things but the real trick for me personally because I'm not putting this on the rest of you and so I'm not saying that this is for everybody because it's not everybody's system is different but for me personally the only thing that seems to work is to eat when hungry and stops when satisfied that seems to be the only thing that works for me 
So, you know, everybody, however they're losing weight, however you're losing weight, whatever you're doing, if you're on a specific diet plan or just cutting out certain foods or just cutting out certain times that you eat or whatever it may be, however it may be. And as long as you're healthy, your doctor is giving you a good thumbs up and you're losing weight successfully and not struggling, then keep going, keep going. I'm just telling you my own, my own, you know, because everybody's different, everybody. Uh, I watched uh, one person who was directed into my direction through uh, David Bracken, who is, he's trying to start up a YouTube channel, but he's not a regular on it. He's more of a viewer than anything, but also a very good Aussie buddy, and I appreciate him greatly. He uh, directed me to this one person called Dub C. Now, do not get him confused with taking down fat with C Dub. This is Dub C. He uh, reviews MREs, but he's also uh, worked on losing weight and he has lost a hundred pounds. Um, and he had his story is kind of similar to mine going through all kinds of different ways of trying to lose weight like going through the conventional just chicken and broccoli and or uh, cutting out certain things or trying other things you know and he's like been up and down in weight or not losing at all and finally for him personally uh, he found that keto works for him so you know like I said, everybody's got their own way of losing weight. It works differently for everybody. And um, for him, since he found keto to be the key, uh, that's great for him, you know? 100 pounds is awesome. So, um, yeah, for everybody who's having success and you're healthy, keep at it. For me, myself, for how that I have uh, been eating and the fact that I have lost um, uh, over 30 pounds. I've definitely, which actually more than that, uh, since 2015, I have lost um, over 40 pounds. Honestly, since 2015, over, over 40 pounds. Um, but you know, my doctor, other than my thyroid being low and me being anemic, everything is normal. My uh, blood pressure, my blood sugar, my heart rate and everything, I'm normal. So, you know, um, the doctor gives me the okay. He says I'm doing great. For me to keep at it and he had asked what did I do to lose the weight at time that I just uh, was paying attention to how much and when and that's true just which at the time I was doing the OMAD and I wasn't about telling him that I was doing OMAD I didn't want him to turn around and say well don't starve yourself or something you know I didn't want no negativity from him so I just told him that I was watching how much I eat and when and it's still true, even though I'm no longer doing OMAD now, uh, I'm doing the way down, which is the hunger and satisfaction method. And still, I am watching how much I eat and when. Same principle. So, anyway, that's basically what I'm doing. And uh, I look forward to seeing how much I'll weigh tomorrow. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you so very much. I really do. Um, the welcome to my comeback has been wonderful. Thank you so very much for coming back to me and for um, welcoming me back. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you.
So you'll be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog. You all have a great day. I just want to say thank you to all my patrons. And if you're interested in pledging or contributing to my Patreon account, you will find me under Amy's Creations Video Productions. You will see on my Patreon page what the funds will be used for. And it is so greatly appreciated. So I thank you in advance.